What about Tuesday? Can you do the 11 o'clock mass? Ted, I'll do the 11 and the 12. You should have a rest after that weekend away. Well, Paris does tend to take it out of me. Uh, <laughs> I'm off for a game. Ted, care to join me? No, thanks, Darren. What time are we going to the car for the races? I suppose after lunch. Oh, Mrs. Dunn hopes you like pheasant. I love pheasant. <laughs> this is what it's all about. A fine port, beautiful surroundings, mm -hmm. and intelligent company. Uh, did you not have all that at your last parish? No. <laughs> Dublin seems to suit you, though. You've got a newfound gleam in your eye. Ah, yes, I shall be staying here for a good while. As long as I don't mess it up for myself by doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these accounts seem in order, Father Smith. Oh. But I wonder, could I ask Father Crelly about one or two of these things that he's put down under expenses? <laughs> What is making that incredibly annoying noise? Oh, that's Ronaldo. It was a bit lonely without you, Ted, so I got a hamster instead. <laughs> yes, can I ask, though, does he ever stop running in that feckin' wheel? <laughs> no. He's had to use the wheel ever since he rode this into his feed tray. <laughs> but don't worry, Ted. I think there's just something wrong with the brakes. How long has Father Jack been living in there? Uh, he started just a few days after you left. Maybe he's agrophobic. <laughs> Jack scared of fighting. I don't think so, Ted. <laughs> Mrs Doyle just fell off the roof. <laughs> I think I'll go out, Dougal, and visit Father Fitzpatrick. I think he has a book belonging to me. Let's see, La Humane Vitae. You know, sometimes I leaf through this to see just how far we've come. Celebration of the Christian Mysteries, Deus Canada, Ventrum Mepolo. Ah, Stephen King's The Shining. <laughs> well, thanks for the tea, Father. <laughs> see you the next time we, um... We, uh... <laughs> Sorry about this, Father. I hope you don't mind me asking, but, um... What have you got a padlock on that door for? Is there something top secret in there? My collection. Oh, yes, that's right. What is this you collect? It's war memorabilia. That's right. Would you like to have a look? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Taken from the German advance on Russia. You can see where the hammer hits the shell casing. Gosh, that's very interesting. Uh, these are helmets, mostly infantry. Yes, these would be German as well, wouldn't they? That's right. You don't have anything from the Allied side? No, no, that sort of thing wouldn't interest me at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's my curiosity satisfied. And this is the last photograph taken of Herr Hitler. He's signing a few death warrants there. <laughs> Funny how you get more right-wing as you get older. <laughs> right, well. Great, this, this is all wonderful stuff. You know, some people, when they see it, they're not too sure, but you seem genuinely interested. Though I am genuinely interested. 
Scheiße, was ist das? What are you doing here? I told you no sleeping here. Ich bin müde. This is this is an old friend of mine, Ted. I'll see you again. Deutschland, Deutschland. Dirty, I can write my name in it. There's a G in Dougal. <laughs> Where? Right, that's it. I'm fed up living in filth. We're just going to have to get this place clean, Dougal. And look at you. Look at that hole in your tank top. What if the parishioners saw that? Where, Ted? Oh, God, would you look at that? <laughs> This here, look, a perfectly square bit of black dirt on the window. I mean, how could you get a perfectly square bit of black dirt on a window? I, I would have thought that was practically impossible. It's just Mrs Doyle can't do any cleaning. Her back is very bad since she fell off the roof. <laughs> See, she can't keep her balance at all. That's it then. I'm just going to have to come out and say it. We're going to have to clean this place ourselves. What? You heard me, Dougal. Are you with me? Well, yeah. Right then, let's go. Let's clean this mother. Ted, what about that bit of the lamp that came off? I could pick that up. Good idea. <laughs> wow. I'm bored now. <laughs> yeah. Dougal, look. Chinese, if you please. Oh, no, no. Come on, Dougal, lighten up. <laughs> Dougal, there were Chinese people there. All right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what is, I mean, that's the Inn family. They're living over there in that old Chinatown area. <laughs> Chinatown area? There's a Chinatown on Craggy Island? Dougal, I wouldn't have done a Chinaman impression if I'd known there was going to be a Chinaman there to see me doing a Chinaman impression. Why not, Ted? <laughs> because, because it's racist. They'll think I'm a racist. I'm going to have to catch up with them and explain I'm not a racist. And basically, if I don't stretch my eyes like that from time to time, I, I get this thing the doctor calls fat eyes. <laughs> ah! I hope you don't think it's the ending of a racial nature. Thanks for being so understanding. See you again. Bye. <sighs> right, that's that. Oh, that's that, all right. What's that? <laughs> I ordered some new stuff for the house. Get rid of this old tat. <sighs> Dougal. You don't think I upset those Chinese people earlier? I don't know, Ted. It was like the time we put on that variety show and you did that impression of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> he was the last person you'd expect to turn up. <laughs> that was a million to one shot. God, he can fairly move in that wheelchair when he's angry. <laughs> I don't worry about it, Ted. Anyway, who did you phone? Habitat? No, Habit Hat. Like Habitat, it sells soft furnishings, but also priest clothes. Does it not get confused with Habitat, though? No, that's never happened before, except just there, when you did it. Anyway, what else did you order? A priest's socks. Really black ones. I read somewhere. I 
think it was in an article about priest socks. The priest socks are blacker than any other type of socks. <laughs> That's right, Dougal. Sometimes you see lay people wearing what look like black socks. But if you look closely, you'll see they're very, 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 very dark blue. Actually, that's true. I thought my Uncle Tommy was wearing black socks. But when I looked at them closely, they were just very, 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 very dark blue. Never buy black socks in a normal shop. They'll shaft you every time. Hello there, Father. Uh, hello, Colm. <laughs> Out and about. I am. Same as yourself. Good, good. I hear you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> what? What? How did you get interested in that type of thing? Who said I'm a racist? Everyone's saying it, Father. Should we all be racist now? What's the official line the church is taking on this? No, no. Only the farm takes up most of the day, and at night I just like a cup of tea. I might be able to devote myself full time to the old racism. Good for you, Father. What? Oh, Mrs. Carberry. <laughs> Good for you, Father. Well, someone had the guts to stand up to them at last. Coming over here, taking our jobs and our women, and acting like they own a second place. Well done, Father. Good for you. Good for you. I like a second. Second Greeks. It isn't the Greeks, it's the Chinese he's after. I am not after the Chinese. I don't care who he gets so long as I can have a go at the Greeks. They invented gayness. Look, we are not having a go at anybody. I am not a racist. All right? God. Fagging bricks. How's Mary? She's fine. She got that job after. Great. <laughs> racist! <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> is that the Yin Dynasty family? Is that the Yin family? Yes, this is Sean Yin. Uh, hello, it's uh, Father Ted Crilly here. I think I owe you an apology. <laughs> right then, see you in a while. Aha, Dougal, that's everything cleared up. They're coming straight around. I'll just be very nice to them, and people will stop saying that I'm a racist. It's great. Nothing could go wrong. Fantastic. So the story is, you're not a racist. Yes. What? No, it's not a story. I'm not a racist. Tea, everyone. <laughs> Father Crilly, I hear you're a racist. No, Mrs Doyle, he's not a racist. I am not. I am not a racist. Mrs. Doyle, we're going to have to do something for your back. You can't go on like this. I'm just going to try something. No! <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Doyle. Oh, no, 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 no! Just relax. No! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that's much better. <laughs> Are you sure you look... Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is great. <laughs> I'll be fine now, Father. No! Seriously, Father, I feel 20 years younger. Ted, the Chinese are coming. All right, where are they? Oh, feck it, this big mark is still on the window. Ah, never mind. Hello? Hello? I don't know why we have to talk to this fascist. Come on now. It may have just been... <laughs> I invite them round and they don't even let me tell them my side of the story. <laughs> this is terrible. People think I'm, I'm some sort of Nazi racist 
And I'm not. What can I do? Ted, here's an idea right off the top of my head. Now, I haven't thought it through, so it's probably not brilliant, but what the hell? <laughs> sure, I'll just talk and see what comes out. Anyway. <laughs> How about some sort of special event? Uh, celebrating all the different cultures on Craggy Island. And then people will think you're a fantastic man instead of a big racist. <laughs> My God. What? That's a good idea. No, it isn't. <laughs> it is, Dougal, it is. No, Ted, there's probably something wrong with it. <laughs> you just haven't thought it through. No, no, Dougal, you've had a brilliant idea. <laughs> but break it down for me a bit more. What would an event celebrating all the different cultures on Craggy Island actually be like? What? <laughs> what would it involve? I mean, celebration, yes, but what form could it take? Ted, I want out. <laughs> what do you mean? I went too far too soon. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting into, Ted. I didn't know you had to follow up a good idea with loads more little good ideas. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ted. I'm going to sleep in the spare room. <laughs> Dougal! I'm sorry. <laughs> you old fool, I've sheltered you for 50 years. You've never even made me a cup of tea. You make the tea, I do the washing up. <laughs> when did you do the washing up? I did it for the whole of 1947. <laughs> and again, in 1973. You liar, you broke all the plates and then you went... Ah, oh, I am so tired. I never had to wash up plates when I was in the Wehrmacht. Oh, never. You're driving me insane. I'm going to take a Valium. Oh, I want one too. Oh, why must you ape everything I do? <laughs> Wait. These aren't Valium. These are the cyanide we kept for emergencies. <laughs> you put cyanide next to the Valium, you old fool. That's asking for trouble. Oh, shut up. You shut up! We've only got 15 seconds to live! Well, that is just fine by me. Good. That's fine by me, too. Good. I'm glad it is. Well, I'm glad you're glad it is. Good. Good. I stepped on the hamster's bike and fell down the stairs, Father. Dougal, I thought I told you to put away that bike safely. I did, Ted. I put it back in the cage. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry, Father. It's great. I feel fantastic. I've completely forgotten that I can turn my head right around like this. <laughs> All right, well, listen. That stuff from Habit Hat is arriving today, so when it comes, give Father Jack... Uh, where is Father Jack? I think he's up the chimney. Right. Well, will I burn him out, Father? Oh, good God, no. The smoke will back up. It'll be all over the house. <laughs> anyway, when that stuff comes, put it all up. All the new rugs and the things for the chairs. And uh, that's your thing, really. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that sort of stuff because I'm a man. <laughs> anyway, we're off to the celebration of Craggy Island's ethnic diversity. <laughs> Willkommen, bienvenue. <laughs> it's a great honour and privilege for me to present this celebration of the wide diversity of cultures that exist today on Craggy Island. Namely, Chinese people and uh, people from Craggy Island. <laughs> I've prepared a short slide presentation which reflects this multicultural mix. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start the show. <laughs> This man visited the island a few years ago. I forget his name now, but um, I, I got on very well with him, so I just uh, throw that in at the start. Will there be any free drink at this? Yes, the, there will be a limited supply of free drink afterwards. <laughs> the Great Wall of China. A miracle of Chinese engineering. So big, you can see it from anywhere in the world. <laughs> Chairman Mao, Secretary of the Communist Party of China one of the biggest communist parties in the world. 
And in my view, the best. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. One of my favorite films. Not because of The Karate Kid himself, but because of Mr. Miyagi. Not, not a day goes by when I don't remember one of his many words of wisdom. <laughs> Kato! <laughs> Where would he spring from next? The Maori. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how that got in there. Uh, <clears throat> of course, there are no Maoris on, on Craigie Island. <laughs> Ming the Mercedes. <laughs> but best of all, the Chinese people themselves. Look at them there. Aren't they great? <laughs> the Chinese. A great bunch of lads. <laughs> Right, I think I've addressed all aspects of Chinese culture, and I'd like to thank you all for coming here tonight. And, uh, of course, uh, if you don't have a word, you can come up and have a bit of an old chat. Well, the slideshow was a big pile of crap. But, uh, the free drink. Very much appreciated. Thank you, Father Crilly. Yes, well, I just wanted to clear things up. I'm not a fascist, I'm a priest. Fascists dress in black and go around telling people what to do. Whereas, priests... More drink! Uh, anywhere there. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, no, thanks. No, I have a kind of allergic reaction to it, you know. It's very rare, but pretty serious. If I drink tea, there's a 70% chance I'll die. Well, I'll make you a cup anyway. <laughs> In case you change your mind. <laughs> no, uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> to China! Hooray! To Craggy Island! Hooray! <laughs> More drink! Hooray! I'm sorry. Bath clothes. Hooray! <laughs> How about everyone comes back to my place for a drink? Hooray! Wait, I need to go to the toilet first. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, we have guests. <laughs> Did that stuff arrive? Yes, and I felt so fantastic I put it all up in less than an hour. <laughs> and there was this letter. Letter. Dear Father Crilly, on the instructions of our recently deceased client, Father Seamus Fitzpatrick. Here are some items which he specified you should have in the event of his death. <laughs> I can explain everything. Actually, no, I, I can't. Hello? Uh, uh, sorry again, and, and, and most importantly, uh, have you opened that present yet? Uh, no. Looking forward to it, though. A year's supply of whiskey. Huh. How very generous. Uh, yes, uh, the problem there is basically, you see, there's been a bit of a change of plan. 